Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the new characters and light cones that we will be getting in 1.2 of Hawkeye Star Rail and how good the banners that they will be on. First let's talk about the characters and how they work starting off with the one I am most excited about with Blade. He is focused on dealing a huge amount of wind damage at the loss of consuming his HP in both single and AoE attacks. His basic attack, Shard Sword, deals wind damage based on Blade's attack to a single enemy. His skill, Hellscape, after use, it puts him in a state called Hellscape, which consumes his HP to enhance his basic attack, and this does not end after using this skill. When Hellscape is active, this skill cannot be used. After using skill, his basic attack becomes Forest of Swords, where after using it, it consumes his HP and deals wind damage to a single enemy and some to adjacent enemies. That scales off some of his attack, but mainly off his max HP. It is important to know that when using Enhanced Basic Attack Forest of Swords, it cannot regenerate skill points. His ultimate, called Death Sentence, sets current HP to 50% of max HP and deals massive wind damage that scales off some of his attack, but mainly his max HP, to a single enemy and some damage to adjacent enemies. His technique, called Karma Wind, attacks the enemy after entering battle, consumes his HP, and deals wind damage to all enemies based on his max HP. And then his talent, Shahu's Gift, when Blade's HP is lowered, he gains one stack of charge. With max stacks of 5 is reached, Blade consumes all stacks and launches a follow-up attack that deals wind damage to all enemies that scales off some of his attack but mainly his max HP and restores HP after the attack. His kit seems really fun to use with him scaling mainly off HP and in turn for more damage he consumes his own health, kind of a risk for reward type of playstyle. The next character is the new 5-star lightning nihility character Kafka. Her basic attack, Midnight Tumult, deals lightning damage to a single enemy based on her attack. Her skill, Caressing Moonlight, deals lightning damage to a single enemy and some to adjacent enemies that scales off her attack. If the main target currently has damage over time effect inflicted on it, the damage over time deals damage one extra time. Her ultimate, Twilight Trill, deals some lightning damage to all enemies that scales off her attack with a high chance of shocking them. If the enemies are currently shocked, the shock status deals damage one extra time. Her talent, gentle but not cruel. After an ally uses basic attack on an enemy, Kafka launches a follow-up attack that deals some lightning damage to scales off her attack with a high chance of afflicting shock to that target. This effect can only be triggered one time per turn. Her technique, Mercy is not forgiveness, attacks all enemies within range when entering battle, deals some lightning damage to all enemies with a high chance of shocking them. So her main thing is not dealing damage directly, but the damage of the damage over time effect shock that she applies to enemies. It will be interesting of how well she plays out, but we'll have to wait and see. And finally, the new physical Nihility 4 star character, Luca. His basic attack, Direct Punch, deals minor physical damage to a single enemy that scales off his attack. His skill, Lacerating Fist, deals physical damage to a single enemy with a high chance of causing the enemy to bleed. His ultimate, Cope de Grace, receives stacks of Fighting Will with a high chance of increasing the target's damage received and deals massive physical damage to the target. And his talent, Flying Spark, after using basic attack or skill, receives one stack of Fighting Will. When two or more stacks of Fighting Will are present, basic attack becomes enhanced. If the enemy is bleeding, the enhanced basic attack will cause bleed to deal extra damage for one turn. His enhanced basic attack then becomes Sky Shatter Fist, which consumes two stacks of fighting will to deal physical damage to a single enemy. His technique, Anticipator, attacks the enemy after entering battle, deals minor physical damage to a random single enemy with a high chance to afflict bleed to the target. Luka then gains one stack of fighting will. So Luka is all about doing punches to enemies that deal physical damage and applying some damage over time effect like bleed. Next, let's talk about the light cones that we will be getting alongside Blade and Kafka. Starting with Blade's called the Unreachable Side, it increases the wearer's crit rate by 18% and increases their max HP by 18%. When the wearer is attacked or consumes their own HP, their damage is increased by 24%. This effect is removed after the wearer uses an attack. This light cone is pretty good, it gives you some crit rate and some HP if you scale off HP and it increases your damage by 24% if you consume your own HP which is honestly pretty good for Blade so I think this is a pretty good light cone to go for. And then Kafka's light cone, patience is all you need. It increases the damage dealt of the character by 24%. After every attack launched by the character, their speed increases by 4.8%, stacking up to 3 times. If the wearer hits an enemy target that is not afflicted by a road, there is a 100% base chance to inflict a road to the target. Enemies afflicted with a road are also considered to be shocked. 
and will receive lightning damage over time at the start of each turn equal to 60% of the wearer's attack lasting for one turn. This one is honestly I think pretty good in terms of Kafka's case because it does fit well with her kit but honestly it's not the best or the end all be all Lycone to go for. If you have some other Lycone that are honestly pretty good like Luca's Lycone I think that's pretty good enough to go with so you don't have to worry about getting her Lycone if you really want it. And lastly, let's talk about the character and Lycone banners. The first banner that we will be getting is Blade, alongside the four star characters being Arlen, Su Sheng, and Natalia. Honestly, ding, this is kind of an okay banner. Su Sheng is a good four star character. She does great physical damage, and as well as being good at breaking characters with physical damage weakness. And also with Natalia being an overall great healer, she is given for free, but getting some of her Edelons can make her even better. So overall, I think this banner is kind of okay, but not really the best. I think this banner is only good if you really want Blade, but Blade isn't like the end all be all damage dealer, but nonetheless he is a very solid damage dealer. And then his Lycone banner is kind of okay, it does go with Su Sheng's Lycone which is honestly really good because it does give you some extra damage bonus, which does have Blade's Lycone which is honestly overall really good for him. So unless you want to go for his Lycone, then this banner is kind of a skip. And then the second phase banners are Kafka's with the 4 stars being Luka, Sampo, and Serval. Honestly, I think these characters are kind of okay. I don't know about Luca of him being a good character. Maybe he can deal some decent damage, but I don't know how well he'll play out. Sampo is decent, but not really that big of a deal. And Zerval, she is given for free if you have claimed her in the beginning of the game's release. But overall, they are some nice characters, but not really that necessary compared to others that you may get. And then her Lycone banner. Honestly, I think this Lycone banner is uh, kind of the same way as of Blade's banner because it does come with Luca's Lycone that applies defense shred to enemies, which is honestly better than Kafka's own 5 star Lycone. So if you happen to get that one, I will honestly stick with that because Luca's Lycone is more valuable and more useful than Kafka's own 5 star Lycone. And that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you are looking forward to any of the characters that we will be getting in 1.2. I know I am looking forward to Blade so much. So if you want to catch me rolling for him, then check out my Twitch. The link will be in the description below. If you enjoyed the video and want to catch more, then subscribe to the channel for more content. Leave a like to support the video. That's it for today and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace.